Hello, hello. This is Sheila. Welcome to the Paint It Pick Studio. And this morning I've been um, up a while as usual. And I've got all my fabric uh, organized. All my little cotton pieces. Most of them were fat quarters or remnants. And I'm, so I can see them now. They're across the room over there. And... They're just color coordinated. They're all just just so cute. But I've got a ton of um, fabric that is heavier that would be great for journals. So, and I've got way more than I will ever use. So, what I was thinking is that uh, when I reach 50 subscribers... But <laughs> five o <laughs> fifty. Even when that ever happens, I'm gonna do a grab bag giveaway with a lot of uh, pieces of those um, uh, fabrics. A lot that you know, big enough pieces to cover a o six by nine, a five by eight. You know those those. Uh, I just hit the tripod. I'm sorry. Those uh, traditional sizes. Um, there'll be plenty big enough for that. My, some pieces may be big enough for two. But I thought that would be a good thing to do. And um, if anybody's interested in that, let me know. And uh, if you've got friends that sew, um, you might want to send them this way. So they can subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Um, so when I do... If and when, I mean, you know, come on, fingers crossed, prayer is it. Uh, if I ever get to 50, then that's what, what I'm going to do. <clears throat> now, this morning, hogs and kisses go out to Janet. I just had a conversation with my friend Janet, so I want to say hello to her. Um, and I want to say hello to my friend Margaret again, bless her heart. She's going to be going through some surgery this this week, so... I'm going to be thinking about her. And um, also to Diana. Hogs and kisses to all you ladies. I love you. Okay, I've got, I've made a little book. <clears throat> and sip of water. Get the morning frog out of my throat. <coughs> And, excuse me, hold up. Well, speak of the devil and she calls you on the phone. I'm just kidding. That was Janet. So, good to hear from you and hear your voice this morning, Janet. Now, so, what I was going to do, I made the little booklet. So, I was just going to go ahead and sew real quick. Three whole pamphlet stitch. I haven't even made the holes in, you know, the... the um, I just sewed around the front of the little booklet. It's a little butterfly stamp. And so I figure, what the heck? You know, it's not that big a deal if I make a mistake on this. So I'm not measuring or anything. I'm just having a look and hoping that it works. All right, maybe if I close it just a little bit and get right there. I can go straight through. Yeah, maybe this is the way I need to do it all the time. <laughs> no measuring. <laughs> okay, I'm trying not to embarrass myself. So, I'm thinking right about there. So far, so good. And I'm standing up. I hope you can see this. I hope I'm not screaming at you. And then we're going to go back through the middle, trying my very best to hit it right. And I did. So I'm going to pull one side of the string, one end over here. And this end's going to come out here. And I know I've got way more string than I need. Um, let's see if I can take some of it up. Okay, I'm scared to mess with it too much. 
but and I didn't clip it or anything. I mean, something this small, I felt fairly confident um, in doing. So, so I did sew a book on camera. How about that? <laughs> uh, and then I'm just going to tie a knot this way. And then tie a knot. Maybe tie a knot this way. All right, now that's good, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna dangle anything. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and scissors are right close to that, so I'm just gonna cut it pretty close. There we go, isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? I think so. So I'm gonna get this Helmars, and what I'm gonna do is make a little pocket for it out of this piece of lace. I think it will no I think it needs to be a little bit bigger that lace let's see but I don't mind having a little snippet like that not at all so I'm going to cut it a little bit big and I can always trim off I say that but could I really let's see Even that up, that's for sure. Okay. On the right side. Now. Still not even, is it? Let's go again. I've got my little, little, um, trash, trash bin tabletop one right there. Okay, and if I hadn't already sewn the signature in the book, I'd be tempted just to sew this lace down. <clears throat> what do you think? I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue the bottom. I'm just gonna glue the sides. Might do better putting it actually, starting it actually on the page. Okay, maybe you should sit down, Sheila. But if I'm standing up, with my head over the camera, I'm not going to put my head in the camera, am I? Okay. I glued that too wide. I'm not working with this glue as well as I could be. Okay, now. <clears throat> I hate to put it in there once to wet, but I got to. Yeah, I think if I just glue it on the very end there. Ooh. Gosh. I wish that'd be too tight now. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Let's see if I. All right, and I'm going to get my little spatula thing. Mash that down real well. There's there's a little wiggle room with this glue, so more so than with um, the uh, art glitter glue. I'm going to put this back in my little tin over here, so I won't lose it. I'm going to pin my lace back down, so. Trying to keep straight here. Now I'm gonna glue this. <clears throat> this is from a 1940. Can't remember if it's 43 or 47. I think it's 47. Look at that glue bubble. Mm -mm -mm. Um, which I have is it was a little fragile, but I did sew it, which sturdied it up just a bit, and it's uh double folded. But I, I like the color of it. It goes well with the book. And if you watched my last video, you will have seen me uh, take the napkin and a wet brush to to go around the image that I wanted. So I could tear it out. And then 
I, uh, as I think I mentioned, I used stick glue. This is what I used to stick the napkin down. Uh, not Mod Podge, because even, even though I've got the mat, uh, I find that it's still sticky after using it. And this way, nothing was really on the top of it, and it's glued down very well. Okay, now we've got our little banner with the number kind of thing that <clears throat> I'm going to put right up here in the corner. Cute. And where did my... There it is. I've got a little piece. Hmm. Got a little piece of doily. This is one of those that I dyed with the watercolor. So I'm just going to slap it down. Get my little spatula to help with that. This is a facial spatula that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And I saw Edith using <clears throat> something that she had gotten years ago with Stamp It Up or something. And I thought, well, my little... Well, I specifically got this for paint. But, um... <coughs> hey, I think it works good for... Works good for for uh, pressing down lace and things with holes that you're going to get glue all over your finger. And the next thing I knew, someone had sent one to Edith. So I'm glad she's got one too. And that just goes to show you there's nothing new under the sun. You've, just because you had the idea, it's, chances are somebody thought of it first. Or before you maybe got the idea from someone before that, so. And I think I might have discovered why my glue is coming up in spots. And I may do something on the side of there. And I think it's because, like right now, I've put this in. And yes, it's holding. But I'm not going to stick anything in there right now. Um, because that may be why my glue is not... Holding as well as it should. I, I, I like that, but I've got it over here, so I don't know if I want to do it on two different pages. But this is a little matchbox that I'm in the process of making. I've already I sewed my paper at the top, and I'm just going to give it a quick glue in there, and then staple it in a couple of places, and then this will go under there. I've seen this several places, but. Recently, it was Corey that um, showed that on her channel. So, um, seems like every every video I do, I'm either mentioning Corey or Edith or both. But they right now, those are the two that I primarily watch, and and of course Sonia Steptoe uh, in Australia. She's doing a lot of. <clears throat> um, things with uh, to do with sewing right now like embroidery slow stitch um she's doing that 52 tag handmade tags tags handmade whatever and brooks challenge and she is doing crazy quilt quilting so i'm enjoying that little bit i may try that crazy quilt i'm not sure and i'm gonna put this little pad at the top of this page. I'm thinking that did I, did I pull it too far? No, I came down in it. This is what I showed you where I got the book page and put behind these uh, butterflies that I had um, uh, punched out one time and I just kept that scrap and see how you can use that in a pretty way and I did not glue that but I'm not going to worry about it and over here I did glue this down and put a little label on it I think that is what's going to stay there um, this is the finished butterfly strip that I talked about doing in um, the last 
video and I don't know what I'm going to put put in there but it's a little tough there uh, I might do three small cards going that way or I might just do like a bookmark tall tag and go in there here uh, I'm thinking about doing this making instead of making this a journaling card uh, make it a pocket this is what I showed on the last video. It was, it was incomplete. Now uh, it is complete. It's been sewn around. And um, that's one reason I don't think it makes such a good journaling card now. Because you have to ride around the sewing. Which you could. But I think it's really a good size for a pocket. Or a corner tuck one or the other and this is just going to be a little something to cover up my boo-boo up there and may not be that because i'm going to want it to show so i may just put some sort of stamp or label up there that might be cute okay we'll just save this out and i think that's all that i've done so far uh or gotten ready for you uh, these, well, I, I am tentatively going to do this on the fronts of these. And I've picked out little postcards that I printed out to put inside them. And I've got this little doily here that I got from Michael's one time on sale. And after I bought it, I thought, well, what in the world am I ever going to use that for with those colors? But... This is what I'm going to use it for. I think it goes well. I think it is. So I'll put another one behind that one. So next episode, we will be working on that. Or one of these other or pages, finishing them up. we got a good bit to go. But I think we've got a good start. Oh, I just really love that. And even after it's closed, I think it's pretty. Yeah, and that's going to work well. And I went ahead and re-glued that and took my pocket so it's had a chance to glue all night. I mean, dry all night. And it's pretty tight going in there now, but it does. And I'm also going to put the wax over this and see how that goes. So I will try to remember and show you next time how that turns out. So I think that we've done plenty today. And, um, yeah got on up there i hope the tripod i hope i didn't shake the table too bad to make you sick or anything but thanks so much for watching and please um if you did find this entertaining or useful at all please give it a thumbs up think about subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell so you can be notified when i do put up a video i try to do two a week um and publish them on tuesdays and fridays so, for right now, that's what I'm doing. And maybe an extra one if um, I do a haul video or a review. I've got a big shipment coming. I say big. It's big to me. 40 bucks. Uh, coming from California. So, when I receive that, I may do a quick little video uh, haul of that. But anyway, I hope you all will take care. Uh, stay well. And... Hogs and kisses until we meet again. Bye-bye.